here and as you're paying for dinner. Well, the brain, rock and roll, Captain Action. Who is this little man? This little man, Lisa, is Captain Action. In the early 1960s, boys' action figures didn't really exist. They were considered dolls, right? Nobody wanted to make dolls for boys. So Ideal took a chance. They made Captain Action. Kids, as you know, love Robert Vaughn. So they wanted a toy that looked enough like Robert Vaughn and had some of the charm of Robert Vaughn. the moms Vaughn. would buy the toys for That's true. Kids. That's so true. Okay. And Cap when the children were asleep at night. The moms would play with the toys. <laughs> Captain Action was a doll to kind of compete with G.I. Joe. Actually, he only lasted two years, so it looks like he didn't win. He looks like this, and he fights crime, but he also dresses like all the other superheroes, like Spider-Man, the Green Hornet. Oh, he so you can, can buy become... costumes for them. Exactly. I had the Lone Ranger and Batman. So you would dress him. He looks like this, but you would put the mask of your so favorite superhero. The hat comes off. Okay. Yeah. That's how he can looks. Can I wear the hat? You can wear the hat, Leo, sure. Captain Action! I played with Captain Action. I lost his hat, I lost his gun, I lost the boots. Pretty soon it was a naked Captain Action doll. I didn't want to play with it anymore. <laughs> it's not like my mom would have made a suit for him. It would have been a dress. Can you just buy the costumes separate or do you have to buy the guy with the costume You on? would buy him and then he had a sidekick, Action Boy. You mm -hmm. could buy his young so sidekick. You know about Action Boy. Oh yeah, Action okay. Boy. Mm -hmm. So you could dress them up like Batman and Robin or Superman and Superboy. Mm -hmm. And how many are there in the set? Twelve, I think. And uh, you found them all? I have ten out of the twelve mint in box. So you have how much invested? In all the Captain Actions, in the loose ones, the mint in box, everything. I would say close to ten thousand dollars. And knowing his collection, how much? Well, I, I could sell two of his box ones for about nine to ten thousand. Wow! So, so all together, what do you think? I'm more of a box person than loose, but you've got about the twenty-five thousand or up. Mark is very impressed by having all of these in box in such great condition in complete sets. Up next on Collector's Call. We'll look at some rare figurines from...